Welcome to live interactive English. I'm Kiki, and I'm Matt. And today we are going to talk about food. In fact, we're going to be talking about rainbow food, the rainbow diet. Yes, and I know it's very healthy to have a rainbow diet. That's why I always stick to my rainbow diet. I've got all the colors right here. What is your rainbow diet? Well, as you can see, that looks like candy, Matt. It's rainbow candy. Well, and also you're missing two colors. Well, but those colors probably aren't as important as these colors because they've got all of those colors in here, and when I eat them, I can taste the rainbow. Oh, well, today we're talking about the rainbow diet and eating all the different colors of the rainbow to、yeah. make sure we have a good and balanced diet. Okay, but you know maybe I just need to eat two more colored things in order to complete my diet. So you can eat, you know, candy for five of those colors: candy, 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 candy. Okay. And then just to complete the rainbow diet, just have two more things, and you're healthy. Uh, I'm not sure if that works like this. Well, we haven't read the article yet, but I'm pretty sure. In this article, it's going to say, "Eat the colors of the rainbow, be healthy." Okay. Well, let's find out what this rainbow diet actually is. Nature's color code for good health. Do you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables every day? If you do, you're doing the right thing for your health. But it is important to think about what kinds of fruits and vegetables you are eating, not just the quantity. Science has shown that eating those of varying colors, or eating the rainbow, is a surefire way to make sure you're not missing out on any important nutrients. Hello, everyone. Today we are looking at part one of an article called "The Rainbow Diet." Nature's color code for good health. Now, right here in our title, we have the word "code." Okay, so what a code is? It's a noun, and it's basically a system or a group of words, letters, figures, or symbols used to mean or represent something else, especially. If you want to keep something a secret from someone, okay. So sometimes you can talk in code. For example, maybe Matt, you and I have a different special meaning for the word chocolate. So if I say chocolate, you'll know I'm talking about something else, but I can't tell you because it's between us. Right. Yeah. But a code can also mean a certain set of rules that you follow. To make sure something is kept in order or to achieve something,、mm -hmm. okay. But here's an example sentence: You enter your code or the password to open the door,、mm -hmm. right? You keep your code a secret, right? Okay. So this is a color code for healthy eating, meaning you know it's going to give you some kind of information. The rainbow is giving you information on how to eat healthy,、mm -hmm. and also sticking to a certain diet,、mm -hmm. right? Okay, so let's get to the article. Do you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables every day? If you do, you're doing the right thing for your health. So it's important that we eat fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy. That's right, and you should be eating plenty of them. So plenty is a pronoun, and it means a large or sufficient amount, meaning enough of something. So when they say if you're eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, they mean if you're eating enough, as much as you should be eating. So it can also just mean many or a lot of something. So for example, there are plenty of ways to design your bedroom. So there are many different ways that you could design it. Continuing with the article, but it is important to think about what kinds of fruits and vegetables you are eating, 
not just the quantity.、Oh. So not just the amount, not just how much of the fruits and vegetables you eat, but also which fruits and vegetables. So maybe some are better than others. Oh, okay. So it's not just about eating lots of vegetables or fruits. Okay. Science has shown that eating those of varying colors or eating the rainbow is a surefire way to make sure you're not missing out on any important nutrients. Okay? okay. So science is telling us that don't just eat your greens, don't just eat your green vegetables. There are other Colors that we should、oh, eat. So I shouldn't just eat carrots and oranges all day long. Right. That would not be a good way to go. Okay. So they said eating the rainbow is a surefire way. This term surefire means certain to succeed or certain to make something happen.、Ooh. So we say it's a surefire way to make sure you're not missing out on. Any important nutrients? It means you certainly won't, and because it's making sure of that, it's surefire.、Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. So we have another word in there, which is to vary. To vary means to change or have many different ways it can be presented. So, for example, the weather varies from place to place, meaning that in different places. The weather is different, so if it can be, you know, sunny here, but then you phone your aunt who lives in a different city, and the weather can be very different there, or even within the same city. Sometimes I ride my bike from my house where it's sunny, and then I get to the office where it's raining, and the weather has varied from my home to the office.、Oh, so it can change,、mm -hmm. and we also talk about. Making sure that we don't miss out on any nutrients.、Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about our diet, nutrients is a really important part to think about because nutrients are the things that we need to eat to keep our bodies going. So it could be things like minerals and vitamins that we need to make sure that. Our bones are healthy, so we'll have things like vitamin K, vitamin D, and all these important minerals. So it's important that we have a nutritious diet.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now we know not to just eat oranges and carrots、mm. all day long, and but we're going to find out more about the rainbow diet when we come back after the break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天的课文标题是 The Rainbow Diet: Nature's Color Code for Good Health. 彩虹饮食法，大自然的健康颜色密码。那么标题里面的单字 code， 它是名词，表示密码、代码，也可以指行为准则或者是规范。好，我们都知道每天要吃很多蔬果，不过重要的不只是数量哦，也是要考虑到你吃的是哪些种类的蔬果。科学已经表明，吃不同颜色的蔬果，或是也就我们说的彩虹饮食法，这是确保你不会错过任何重要营养素的可靠方法。好，单。字 plenty， 它是代名词，表示丰富、充足。那么 plenty of 可以表达很多、大量的什么什么。再来看到 vary， 它是当动词，可以表达不同、使不同、呈现差异或是改变的意思。好，我们再看到补充单字 nutrient， 它可以指营养物或是养分，是可数名词。那么相关词性 nutrition。则是指营养，它是不可数名词。Kiki 老师则用到 nutritious， 这时候它是形容词哦，是形容富含营养的、营养价值高的。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来学习 miss out 是指错失机会，尤其是指错失机会而没能够做有趣或有益的事。后面常常会接 on 加名词，例如 don't miss out on such a great opportunity， 千万别错过这么好的机会哦。接华课文中。So why do the colors matter? They matter because of something called phytochemicals. These are groups of chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their different colors, as well as different health benefits. 
For instance, the phytochemicals in carrots not only give them an orange color, but also help make them good for your joints. Meanwhile, the phytochemicals in strawberries make them look red and help protect the skin of the people who eat them. The main color groups that should be eaten are yellow, white or brown, red, orange, purple or blue, and green, and each of these offers unique health benefits. To make the most of these benefits, nutrition experts recommend consuming one or two fruits or vegetables of each color every day. Welcome back. So before the break, we we're talking about the rainbow diet and how if you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, you're already doing it quite right. You're doing a good job of maintaining your diet, but you need to make sure you're eating different colored fruits and vegetables Ooh. and not all the same colored fruits and vegetables. So don't just eat green veggies mm -hmm. or orange fruits. Right. We should have a variety of colors. Mm -hmm. But why? What's up with all these colors? Let's find out in our article. So why do the colors matter? They matter because of something called phytochemicals. Oh, okay, so that's the importance of these mm -hmm. colors. These colors come from this type of chemical. These are groups of chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their different colors as well as different health benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the things that, that are good for us mm -hmm. in the fruits and vegetables, and these are what give us different health benefits. So a benefit is an advantage or something gained from doing something or having something. So a benefit of working for a job is that you get money. That's one of your benefits. Right. So it's just something good you get from something else. Mm -hmm. So for example, I enjoy the benefits of living in a big city. Okay. And those benefits might be things like convenience, right. having convenience stores and 24 hour stuff, or having lots of public transportation. Those are some of the benefits of living in a big city. Mm. So continuing on, for instance, the phytochemicals in carrots not only give them an orange color, but also help make them good for your joints. Oh, that's very interesting. So when you eat carrots and this color, the orange color, will actually help your bones and your joints. Mm, your joints, the places where your bones attach to each other. And they and we move. can move them. So like mm -hmm. your elbows, your knees, you have many joints in your body, in your fingers. Mm -hmm. And we should take care of them because as we grow older, joints will start to deteriorate. So I guess eating carrots are important. Let's go back to our article. Meanwhile, the phytochemicals in strawberries make them look red and help protect the skin of the people who eat them. Okay. That's why a lot of girls like to eat strawberries. Is that why? Well, maybe I should be eating more strawberries to keep myself beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so not only does the phytochemicals, does it give us benefits, it's also what's giving the fruit or the vegetable its color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a good way to, you know, to know what maybe what phytochemicals that fruit has. Right. You can decide what you want to eat based on the color. Right. The main color groups that should be eaten are yellow, white or brown, red, orange, purple or blue, and green. And each of these offers unique health benefits. Mm, okay, so some interesting groups there. I noticed they have some that go together, like white or brown, which have the same phytochemicals, or purple or blue, which would have the same phytochemicals as each other. So there's hmm. one group. So we don't actually have to worry about eating all seven colors of the rainbow. Some of them are grouped together. Right. I think it's hard to, you know, make a difference between purple and blue as the rainbow itself is a spectrum, meaning right. it goes from one color to another, and purple and blue are very close to each other. Right. And we know that there are certain fruits that look blue but might be purple on the inside. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to our article. 
To make the most of these benefits, nutrition experts recommend consuming one or two fruits or vegetables of each color every day. So people that are nutrition experts, they recommend or they suggest to us that it would be beneficial or helpful to us if we eat more than one color.、Mm -hmm. And when we consume something, we are eating or drinking something. But there are also some different words to keep in mind. For example, consume could be to make up a whole thing. Okay. So, what consumes our diet? Now, an example sentence would be: A cow should consume at least nine gallons of water a day. Okay, so we should consume two colors, at least two colors of fruits and vegetables each day. Okay, well, that doesn't seem too challenging to do. I think we could be able to do that. I think you can do that too. And we're going to find out more about the rainbow diet when we see you next time for part two. Goodbye. We just mentioned the rainbow diet. That in everyday life, we need to eat different colors of fruit. The reason why the color is important is because there is a chemical called phytochemical. This chemical is attached to phytochemicals. These chemicals are 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 attached to phytochemicals. 老师用到 deteriorate 这个动词 d e t e r i o r a t e deteriorate， 它可以表达恶化或是退化。那么课文写到说，我们应该食用的主要颜色组是黄色、白色或棕色、红色、橙色。紫色或蓝色，以及绿色，那每一种颜色都有独特的健康益处。为了充分利用这些好处，营养专家就建议说，每天要食用每一种颜色的一到两种水果或蔬菜。好，在讲到颜色时 ，Matt 老师有用到 spectrum 这个字 ，s p e c t r u m。spectrum 可以用来指光谱。那么课文单字 benefit 则是指好处、益处。consume 是当动词，表示吃喝，它也有消耗，像是消耗能源等等那种意思。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 as well as 的意思跟用法。首先呢，它可以当连接词来表达以及还有，必须连接词性相同的字词。那连接主词的时候，我们的动词单复数呢就要配合 as well as 前方的名词要跟它一致。我们看两个例句 ：Diane is smart as well as beautiful. Diane 聪明又漂亮。Gina, as well as her husband and children, is coming over for dinner tonight. Gina 以及她的老公和孩子们今晚会过来吃晚餐。哇，听起来虽然有很多人要来，可是句子是在强调 as well as 前方的主词 Gina， 所以 be 动词我们用 is。好，第二个我们可以拿 as well as 当介系词用，去表达除了什么之外还怎么样。后面要接名词或动名词，例如 as well as being a chef, he's also a famous YouTuber. 他除了是一名主厨，还是一位知名的 YouTuber。再看到第二重点是 not only A but also B， 这表示不仅怎么样，而且怎么样。Not only but also 要连接词性相同的字词，连接动词的时候时态要一致，连接主词的时候动词是要配合 but also 后面那个名词。我们一样看两个例句 ：The cake not only looked lovely but also tasted delicious. 那个蛋糕不仅外观可爱精致，而且很好吃。我们看到连接的都是过去式动词。Not only Pam, but also her sisters like to go shopping. 不止 Pam， 还有她的姐妹们都喜欢逛街。那句子里的动词 like 是配合最靠近的主词 her sisters， 所以是用 like 而不是用单数的 likes。好，那么以上今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Do you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables every day? If you do, you're doing the right thing for your health. But it is important to think about what kinds of fruits and vegetables you are eating, not just the quantity. 
Science has shown that eating those of varying colors, or eating the rainbow, is a surefire way to make sure you're not missing out on any important nutrients. So why do the colors matter? They matter because of something called phytochemicals. These are groups of chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their different colors, as well as different health benefits. For instance, the phytochemicals in carrots not only give them an orange color, but also help make them good for your joints. Meanwhile, the phytochemicals in strawberries make them look red and help protect the skin of the people who eat them. The main color groups that should be eaten are yellow, white or brown, red, orange, purple or blue, and green, and each of these offers unique health benefits. To make the most of these benefits, nutrition experts recommend consuming one or two fruits or vegetables of each color every day. Hey, 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 it's Kiwi on the street. I'm Kiki. And I'm Winnie. We have a lot of visitors in Taiwan all the time from all sorts of countries, but we are often asked questions in English and sometimes we have to think about it in Chinese. So today we are going to work on some translations. Let's go. Okay, let's work on some translations. Okay, bang wo shi. Ning Hello, I would like to book a seat. Very good. So you can say, I would like to make a reservation, or yeah, you can say, I would like to book a seat. Very good. I want to make a seat. Close. Make, I'll make a seat. Yeah, close. Okay, so it is, hello, I would like to make a reservation. Very good. Okay. Okay, let me see. Yo han fu fei ma? Yo han fu fei ma? Uh, is service fees included? Very good. Or does it include service uh, fee? Okay. Does it include the service fee? Very good job. Is service fee included or does it include service fee? Very good. Now we Let's take a look at some other ways we can translate the phrases that we heard today. Hello, I'd like to make a reservation. Or, hello. I'd like to book a table. The next one, is service fee included? You can also say, does this include the service fee? And these are the translations that we learned today. See you later.